Hey everybody, so why are we starting today's project in the car? Well, I have to get a little bit creative. <laughs> I mentioned to you guys when we did the whole basin haul that my camera was busted, that I was hoping to be able to get it fixed in the next couple of days or something wrong with my memory card thing, and I still think that's true, but I took it to um, the Geek Squad at Best Buy, and they basically told me that they were gonna ship it off and have it fixed, and I'm like, Oh no, 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 no. So instead of spending the money to fix this camera, I've already been looking for a vlogging camera, so I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. However, I wasn't prepared to buy a camera. You know, I still have to pay for like the giveaway and stuff, and I just, I wasn't ready. There's collections coming out that I'm not, but the thing is I can't like film makeup tutorials or anything because all of that like i like it to be up close and personal there's a product that i wanted to use but like you really have to see what i'm doing so for right now i have to stick to kind of projects that i don't necessarily need a great camera for i'll actually show you guys the project when we get home of course but i know with that we need some glue we have glue sticks at home but i think it requires actual like the squirt bottle glue so we're running into target really quick just super quick in and out grab some oh, glue target and then you're yeah about. target and then a little bit later we'll put this project together so i hope you guys are excited Hi, but i went to the store and i got <laughs> but you have these seasoned kill bring camera closer i can't bring it closer my love so these are the seasoned oh, this is <sighs> Season Sunday, the ice cream. Su season Sun, season Sunday. Yeah. Oh. But sing, sing Sunday. Are you ready? To, we gotta go get our glue. Do you wanna go get our glue? And then after our glue, I can go get you those M and M's. You know what? We'll probably pick some up here. She wanted M and M's that was in my fridge, but just to avoid another stop, we might just grab some while we're in here. So, <coughs> are you ready? At, so I need to get some glue then. At. When, when After the glue, what are we gonna go do? We're gonna go to the park. But when we we need to go home, we're gonna get M and M's here. <laughs> are you what? Yeah. But that, so I don't have to go all the way home. And you can still have your M and M's. We're gonna go get some glue so that we can do that project after yeah, your nap. Yeah, I won't do it right now. After, after your nap, because after here we're gonna go to the park because it's so beautiful out today. It's Whoa, 54. I, <laughs> it's I'm going beautiful. Fishing. What? I'm fishing. You're fishing. What, what are you gonna catch? Are you gonna catch dinner? I think we're gonna have pot pie for dinner tonight. No, I can't do something new. A pocketbook. Did you get that at Forever 21? Let no. me see. Let me see. Yes, you did. Mama picked this up for you because you thought it was so cute. And I thought it was perfect to keep her little toys in. Look how cute. It's full of Shopkins. I just. I got I those out of the store. You did. That's because you were such a good girl for daddy that he gave you a prize. So and we can go. You and me can go there tomorrow when it's Sunday. That's weird because tomorrow is Sunday, but no. <laughs> you ready to go get our glue? Ooh, some fairy tale stuff. And there's this way back. some glue. Actually, hold on, let me see. This is the color changing glue. What? That's not what I need. Baby, over here, we just need. Ooh, they have lots of these glitters. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll just do regular school glue. All right, that works. You ready? So I got her oh, glue for our project. She found these at that like little clearance thing in Target. Yeah, you know that girl had these? I don't know. She watches a bunch of like, we let her watch YouTube again, but only supervised because of the whole Momo yes. thing. Was it Cookie Swirl or somebody else? Somebody else. Oh, it's got a bunch of like cute little Figurines. All right, go sit in your seat, baby, because I'm gonna get you in. So we got that too. And there's a Obviously, the glue. Princesses. Ah, and we got to use some M and M's too. Yeah. Okay, you ready to go to the park? Let me uh, get you in your seat. And yeah. I actually don't even know if you guys have seen that she's in a new car seat yet. What? 
Why are you in a new car seat? Because daddy and me. Because you're but, being a big girl and you're getting too big for that other one. Yeah, because I get big. So big. big. I I would get bigger to get in that big seat. <clears throat> this is the last seat that you're gonna need before you sit like mommy and daddy does. Yeah. Which is crazy. And no what? Where is my baby going? I don't like it. And there's a little mermaid. Look, see oh. the mermaid look? Oh. Wow, she's so beautiful. Okay. Do not drop it. Okay. <laughs> I'm probably not even gonna record the park with you guys because we just came here. Is we just went there last week. We're full to the ball. And uh, I, I know my vlogs can be a bit repetitive because there's only so much that I do with my life. Uh, yes, it's of the pink ones. I found another one. Ooh, another pink mermaid. No, it's another princess. See that hole? Alright guys, so this is what we are making today. We, ooh, lots of stuff. We are making this chicken coop that we found at Michael's. So what do we need? Let's see. We need glue. We need 45 minutes. Do you have 45 minutes, Ella? Uh-uh. No, <laughs> most of us don't. <laughs> Scissors. Do we need scissors? Yep. Yep. Okay. We have those and glue. We and it makes we one. Just, we don't need to cut it, but. <laughs> okay. You ready to get started? Oh, the princesses are saying hi. Whoa. Whoa, Glory. Whoa. It's a lot of pieces. Whoa. There's a yellow baggies. ball belt. Alright, so this is what we got. We got plenty of these foam pieces. We have pieces to actually make the building itself. Looks like we have some maybe stickers or like maybe they stand up. Smaller pieces. They look like maybe they interlocked. They interlock with some of these bigger foam pieces. We have trees. We have this. We have this, which is like a mesh netting. Okay, here's the yellow piece. It doesn't seem to actually have come with any real instructions. We'll make a little trash pile. So Ella is taking out the little pieces on the bottom for me. Is Ella? Oh, good job. All right, so we got a blank piece. So let's see what's next. Let's see. Let's start building. Ella, let's start building the wall. So we need... I'm just going to take these off. That's the big window. Yeah, see how that's the front of the the front of the house with the windows? That's for the bit. I don't want it to hang in. No. I and like then it to. looks like, I'm assuming that this is the front because it looks like it has a flat bottom. The stuff is already popped out last what night. What the heck? I'm a little bit confused because this looks like the front of that box, right? Yeah. But the bottom little pegs, it has a flat bottom with like nothing on it, but then you look at the bottom of this and it's like, okay. Look, this is the flat of the ideally, bottom. Ideally, it would go on this side, but it doesn't make any sense. And I, I wonder if that's where the oh, scissors come wait. in handy. What is this? This side doesn't work and this side, the middle doesn't make any sense. So I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe part of a chicken? Carol, help me. And is currently drying in front of a heater at the moment. So now we're gonna go ahead. I've got the yellow base. Uh, hi, Elle. <laughs> We've got the yellow base in. Oh my goodness. Where? What is that from? Oh. So we gotta put the chicken coop together first. So I'm gonna lay this on its back, put some glue on, and then we're gonna stick that little piece of wire on, okay? Okay, this is a super confusing project, especially considering we've been given no instruction, just the tools needed. So we figured out where the tree goes based on the box. She's now decorating it with the leaves. We found a couple of eggs here, which will eventually go into the hatchery. And that's as far as we've gotten so far. Wish us luck. While our little um, house starts to dry, we're gonna start putting the little birds together. Together. So we have three pom-poms, their eyes, their beaks. We need to cut it out first. This has been about an hour. We've busted out snacks because this is something else. We have made the chicks. They are currently over there drying. Hopefully Arrow's not going to get to them because he's eyeballing them. Um, but we have a standing building, which is something, right? Look, so the now girls are going out. in there. <laughs> now I have to figure out the rest of this. 
So it's been a couple days since I talked to you guys the last. All the lights are off because it's just, it's easier to see when they're off. Crazy. This is the first time I've had like my hair natural in quite a while. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it today. <laughs> but I forgot to end my vlog. Um, I realized as I was editing and I want to show you guys that we finally finished that little Michaels project. At least mostly. <laughs> this was so hard and it came with no instructions. So it was just done with looking at the box and trying to put it together but it was so difficult <laughs> i mean it came out cute but um i kind of learned that i used like some pieces were not meant to be used where i put them and i don't know it's kind of like a total diy thing but uh, we did do it and it was fun it was just really hard um but i just want to show you guys that we are spending today pretty much inside whoa what the heck is that a leaf from the leave, I think it is. <laughs> Don't mind me today, everybody. I'm just kind of putting away groceries at the moment. Just got back. Today is a super rainy day, a super like bleh day. Uh, after I put groceries away, like we've already had lunch and stuff, I'm gonna hop in the shower. Like one of those just chill at home days. But I did come across this and I wanna show you guys it cause I'm sure I'm gonna get some questions. But I found these from Kiss. Now, I've had um, my nails off for probably two weeks at this point. And the reason I took my nails off is just because I had them on for so long. I was in like serious need for just a new full set. But I decided to just take off the set, let my nails kind of breathe, just get a break from acrylic because it can be so damaging on your nails. And then I'll go back and get a new full set. When I go back and get a new full set though, I want to do the... I tried going to like a five star nail salon because I have a picture that I want so bad and I want to see if I can find a nail salon that can do these kinds of designs for me. So just for now, um, obviously, I, I just, I, I hate not having nails and I'm trying to let my nails grow. So I found these and they're like matte lavender and then they have like chrome ones too. They're really hard to see in the box, but I'm gonna get these on as soon as I'm done and I'll show you guys, um, but that's where I got them. And I picked up some lashes and these are the ones that I'm using currently from the drugstore and they're from Eiler. They're the Thalia or Talia. I never found the same lashes that I used in Puerto Rico. They were also from Eiler. I forget the woman's name who did them, but I can't find them here. And then I was using number 20 Farah in the Huda Beauty style. Those ones are beautiful. The band is just a little bit thick. So when I don't want to spend a lot of money on lashes, these are the current ones that I've been reaching to. In case you're curious. Anyways, I'm going to go finish up. I'll pop on the nails. I'll show you guys. And then I'm going to go hop in the shower. Arrow? Ew, get out of my fur, Jenny. <laughs> Threw on the nails really quick, just kind of trying to show you on like some sort of a background. Um, obviously, my cuticles needed some work. I didn't go to like a salon or anything, but I did just stick them on. I'm really happy with them. Drew me to them because of A, the chrome, but then I've never seen like nails with this kind of length, like the press on nails. They've always been so much shorter. I don't know, I'm into them. I really like them. So only a couple hours into wearing these nails and I've already had three of them bend on me. I don't know if you can see the creases in each of them, but there's like a little white line that goes across it horizontally. That's so annoying, but the, it, I'm not surprised though because I forgot how like flimsy these are. You know, the more fragile they're gonna be. So I probably wouldn't recommend. Probably gonna come off tonight. <laughs> Hi, babe. They're beautiful, but just, I don't think really worth the wear. Like, I haven't even done anything, and three of them have bent, so. 